antiphon for St. Martin of Tours. I shall raise up among myself a faithful priest who will act in accord with my heart and my mind when it says the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who are glorified in the Bishop St. Martin, both by his life and death, make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts, that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the lowly, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God, to comfort all who mourn. To place on those who mourn in Zion a diadem instead of ashes. To give them oil of gladness in place of mourning, a glorious mantle instead of a listless spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever Forever I will will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant with my holy oil. I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. I give you a new commandment, love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them, one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, 
you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did you see you when did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me, the gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the uh, memorial of St. Martin of Tours, who was uh, born in 316 in France. Uh, his parents were pagans. They didn't have any Christian faith or Catholic faith. And But somewhere when he was younger, he discovered Christ and the faith. But his father was a in the military, the Roman government military, and wanted his son to be a soldier also. Indeed, that's what uh, Martin became. But one day, as you know, the famous story, as he was riding on his horse, he saw a man almost half naked in bitter cold weather, shivering, but had nothing to wear. And he's shivering, and he took his, you know, the cape that they wear, uh, the Roman soldiers, he took it off, and he got his sword, he cut it in half, and he got off his horse and covered the man that was stopping him from shivering and giving him some clothing. And see how the gospel fits in today. Jesus says, uh, I was naked and you clothed me. And when, when we see you naked, when you did it for the least of my brothers, you did it for me. So that's exactly. And then at night, he had that dream where he saw Jesus in a dream. And Jesus was apparently wearing or holding that cloak that he gave him, the, 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 the beggar gave him. And he said, uh, uh, and he had that, and he said, and, he, and Jesus said those words to him, when you did it for him, you did it for me. And at that moment, he had this desire to serve Christ, and he gave up uh, uh, the military, he retired from the military, became a veteran, and uh, on the way then to become not only a priest, but the Bishop of Tours. So it's very appropriate that we're celebrating St. Martin of Tours, uh, an actual veteran of the Roman army, uh, for, uh, on Veterans Day, so I created a little Veterans Day uh, display there with the flags, and then I have God bless our veterans and picture some soldiers there in graves where some are buried to remember the living and deceased uh, veterans that we are among us. Uh, how special to me. You know, uh, remember when John the Baptist was preaching, he, he was telling people to convert, and when he came across soldiers, he respected them. He didn't tell them, you know, quit your job, stop being a soldier. All he said was, don't exhort, exhort people out of money and be satisfied with your wages and go along your way and continue to be a soldier because he knew that, well, soldiers are needed. We need them for our defense, our protection, and they're very uh, uh, courageous. And so and the church sees the need also for soldiers. It's the thing when we get confirmation, right? We're told that we become soldiers of Christ. We're enlisted in the army of Christ spiritually, and um, so that's what happened. He became a soldier for Christ, uh, a Bishop Martin of Tours. Uh, so today being um, uh, Veterans Day, I have a prayer for all veterans. I'd like to know how many veterans we have here. Can you raise your hand? If you might, okay. And if you're able to stand, if not, uh, I have a blessing that I'd like to give you. You want to stand if you can. If not, we get the blessing while you're being seated. It will work the same way. God our Father, today we honor our veterans, worthy men and women who gave their best when they were called upon to serve and protect their country. We pray that you will bless them for their unselfish service and the continual struggle to persevere our freedom, preserve our freedoms our safety, and our country's heritage for all of us. Bless them abundantly for the hardships they faced, for their sacrifices they made, for their many different contributions to America's victories, 
over tyranny and oppression. We respect them, Lord. We thank them. We honor them. We are proud of them. We pray that you will watch over these special people and bless them with peace and happiness. Remember in a special way all veterans who have been wounded, those who gave their lives, and all our deceased veterans. And we make this prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit of God forever and ever. Amen. May mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and we did pray, that was part of the prayer was for the saints, but we'll do a Hail Mary for them too. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us now present our intercessions to God our Father, trusting in his goodness. For the church, may the love of Christ help us grow even close, ever closer to the Father and increase our desire to continue to serve him above all things. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civic leaders throughout the world, may the faithfulness of God be their model in leading those whom they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick are suffering, may Christ, the healer, bring them freedom from illness and pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community gathered here today, may the Lord in his goodness help us be generous and sacrificial co-workers of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, May they join the heavenly choir in giving continual praise to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This, prayer, this mass is being offered for Robert Thurick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's pray. God, our Heavenly Father, hear and answer the prayers we have brought before you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water, not to share it with Call me himself to share it with Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. To the offerings made here, O oh, sanctify these offerings, we pray, Lord God, which we joyfully present in honor of St. Martin, so that through them our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Martin of Tours, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe and answer to your prayers, to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. As without end we acclaim, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and unwillingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you of held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, your spouse, for the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, at least not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and I graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this moment the body of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us and receive it. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed those called to the supper of the Lamb. Who are not worthy to enter my room. But only you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Your body Christ and say the Lord. Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least of my brethren, you did it for me, says the Lord. The body? Amen. Body Christ. Amen. The body Christ. 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 The body Christ.
possessing purity of heart, I think it was a time when you were having a boy and girl. those who are participating by YouTube, we'll do our act of spiritual communion written by St. Alphonsus Liguri. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come lead spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you anymore. And for those of us who just received Holy Communion, we can say to Jesus, I embrace you because you are already here in my soul and in my heart. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant to us who have been restored by the sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with your will in all things, that just as St. Martin submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. We had a uh, terrible fire this past couple of days ago in Mount Carmel on Hickory Street. The home seems to be pretty well demolished. The roof is gone, I noticed. And there are members of our parish, so uh, we made a can, and it has fire victims, a little hole in it, if you'd like to put a donation. I should be back there somewhere because I mean, they were working on it and uh, somebody was supposed to bring it over. And if not, I will bring it over for the 4 o'clock Mass. I hope it's back there, but you can give a donation. Imagine to uh, have nothing. Everything's gone. Your clothing, your toothbrush, is all, everything's totally gone. Can't get in. To, everything's smoke damaged or whatever. So 
uh, hopefully uh, uh, we'll have our can back there that we can try to help in some, some way with, with, with the family. The Lord be with you. The mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection and thanks to you, Jesus. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into all Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl to the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Do we see that candle there somewhere? Sitting on one of the counters? No. I guess.